let's do this video. Um, okay, so, wait, is it, is it enough? Whoa, uh, I hope they like and subscribe. <laughs> and we're back. So, sorry about that mishap earlier. Um, let's go on with the proper introduction. Hi, my name is Jado from Jado Labs. Um, so, so today's video is focusing on the solar system. Now, we all know what the solar system is, right? So, I want to thank you all for liking and subscribing. And if you haven't, please do, but no pressure. And without further ado, here's your video. Um, roll the intro, I guess. The solar system. It's a 4.5 billion year old marvel that zips around our galaxy center at 200,000 kilometers per hour and makes a full rotation in 250 million years. That's a long time. At the solar system center is our one and only sun, which is revolved around by eight planets, a few dwarf planets, and trillions of other smaller celestial planets bodies such as asteroids comets smaller big bits of debris all the eight planets are divided into two sections terrestrial planets and gas giants the, ter the terrestrial planets house the planets mercury venus earth and mars the gas giants on the other hand are huge balls of gas that are very gassy the first planet in our solar system is Mercury. It is 58 million kilometers away from the Sun and is lightest and smallest planet. Mercury is really hot. This is because a Mercury day is longer than its year. Mercury is alone in life and does not have a moon. Mercury has no atmosphere, making susceptible to the Sun's rain. Our next planet is Venus. It is approximately 108 million kilometers away from the sun. Venus was named after the Roman goddess of love. But that ain't the case. Venus is the least loving planet with a surface temperature of 437 degrees Celsius. Ouch, I thought the summers on my planet were hot. Venus is the hottest planet because of the Venus atmosphere. Since Venus technically isn't the closest to the sun, it uses a technology known as the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is basically an effect where gases like carbon dioxide trap in the heat from the sun, and but don't let it leave. This increases heat, but this thing is the greenhouse effect is for another video, so let's not talk about it more. Some other facts about Venus is Venus additionally has no moon and has an atmospheric pressure that is 62 times Earth's. This is, it, imagine just standing there, you'd be crushed like a tin can. Uh, that'll hurt. I'm just imagining it. I, I don't know. Okay. And now, the planet you've all been waiting for, Earth. Earth is 150 million kilometers from the sun. Earth is the only planet that can allow liquid water to form in large quantities. This is because of the moderate temperature of Earth. What's more is that Earth is the only planet in the solar system that is known to harbor life, like us humans. Earth has one moon, called the moon. How about that? Mars is the second smallest planet and is 228 million miles away from the sun. It is so small that it barely has an atmosphere and can only be, can only be strong enough get a small scrawny atmosphere. Mars is well known for its red and rocky color. 
This color comes from iron oxide, which is rust. Another thing that Mars is also well known for is its supervolcano, Olympus Mons. Olympus Mons is the most known volcano because it is the largest volcano in the solar system. To put this in scale, uh, Mount Everest, the tallest, um, tallest mountain on Earth, is 8 kilometers high. But Olympus Mons is 26 kilometers high. Mars has passed the rocky asteroid belt is Jupiter, the largest and most massive planet in the solar system. Jupiter is made of gas, specifically hydrogen and helium, and some other smaller gases, but we don't talk about those. Since Jupiter's atmosphere is made of hydrogen and helium, this helps create some of the biggest storms known to man. One in particular stands out. The Great Red Spot is a massive superstorm that has been raging for centuries. The spot is three times bigger than the Earth. Now that's a pretty bad storm if you're scared of lightning. Jupiter has 67 moons. That's a lot of moons for a single planet. Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system. It's the least dense planet in the whole solar system. It's 4,427 4, million kilometers away from the sun. If you had a big enough bathtub, you could sw it would swim in it. That is, if it has learned to swim, or, or if it isn't scared of water. I mean, where would a, sun, where would a planet learn to swim? Eh. Enough of that. But Saturn's most notable and recognizable f figure is its famous rings. These rings are made of rock and ice. Saturn has a whopping 62 moons, almost there to Jupiter, but not quite there. Well, things start getting cold as we start to drift away from the sun. Uranus is the third largest planet and is also the smallest gas giant. The thing about Uranus is that that is so famous is its wacky axis of rotation. Its axis of rotation is tilted sideways compared to other planets. Uranus has 27 moons. Nice amount of moons. Neptune is the last planet in the solar system. It is 4,498 million miles away from the Earth. One Neptune year is 164 Earth years. By the time the, the Neptune's orbit around the sun is complete, you will have had great, great grandkids. The wind speed on Neptune is incredibly high. The highest ever recorded wind speed was in a storm. The wind speed in there was just 2,100 kilometers per hour. Neptune has 13... When we compare the sizes of planets, we find that the planets are really different. Jupiter is the biggest when we talk about size and weight. Compared to baby Mercury, that is struggling to compete with the Ganymede, one of Jupiter's moons. Jupiter alone makes up 70% of our planets, all our planets' weight. Youch. Somebody called the Weight Watchers. But this weight is good. Jupiter pulls back all the huge planet-ending asteroids that could kill most life on Earth. But even big Jupiter is a gnome compared to our Sun, which makes up 98% of our solar system. The Sun is mostly hydrogen and helium, and just a little bit of oxygen and heavier elements. Our sun fuses this hydrogen into helium, taking in 620 million hydrogen atoms a second, generating so much energy it would fry Earth's circuitry and render all our smartphones. When we compare the sizes of planets, we find that the planets are really different. Jupiter is the biggest when we talk about size and weight. Compared to baby Mercury, that is struggling to compete with the Ganymede. 
one of Jupiter's moons. Jupiter alone makes up 70% of our planets, all our planets' weight. Youch. Somebody called the Weight Watchers. But this weight is good. Jupiter pulls back all the huge planet-ending asteroids that could kill most life on Earth. But even big Jupiter is a gnome compared to our sun, which makes up 98% of our solar system. The sun is mostly hydrogen and helium, and just a little bit of oxygen and heavier elements. Our sun fuses this hydrogen into helium, taking in 620 million hydrogen atoms a second, generating so much energy it would fry Earth's circuitry and render all our smartphones, everything that we rely on, useless. The sun is also the center of attention for asteroids and comets. Big pieces of rocks come close to the sun and orbit it. Trillions of asteroids and comets are the prime recipients of the orbit around the sun. The first orbit is the asteroid belt, which is between Mars and Jupiter. The second orbit is the Kuiper belt, which is around on the edge of our solar system. The most well-known asteroids in the asteroid belt is Ceres. Ceres is a huge dwarf planet that is about the size of Texas. The most famous plan uh, dwarf planets in the Kuiper, Kuiper belt is Pluto, Mikmi, and Hanemimo. We usually think of the asteroid belt and the Kuiper belt as a place where asteroids collide and everything, you know, hits each other. But really, it isn't. It just, most of it is empty space. It's, it's really hard to get two asteroids in the same place at the same time. Actually, the asteroid belt's combined mass is just 4% of the moon's mass. And the Kuiper belt, Kuiper belt is only a tenth of the Earth's mass. The solar system is a 4.5 billion year old marvel that zips around our galaxy center at 200,000 kilometers per hour and makes a full rotation in 250 million years. That's a long time. At the solar system center is our one and only sun, which is revolved around by eight planets, a few dwarf planets, and trillions of other smaller celestial bodies, such as asteroids, comets, smaller big bits of debris. All the eight planets are divided into two sections, terrestrial planets and gas giants. The, ter the terrestrial planets house the planets Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. The gas giants, on the other hand, are huge balls of gas that are very gassy. Then go check out their channel um, channels, subscribe to them, like them, and tell them I sent you. So, subscribe to those channels, subscribe to mine, and just keep watching. Comment down below if the comments are on. Mm -hmm. And...